Okay, so this is an instructional crochet video for my friend Beth. Um, we, right now we need to pick up some stitches along a raw edge of a crocheted piece. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so we started off, Beth, I hope this is the right pattern. Uh, we cast on five stitches here. Uh, we knit for, well, hi Windigo. Kidden. We knit for about five rows, then we increased, and then we knit for four more rows. Excuse me, crocheted. Yeah, I know. Okay, so the pattern says to put it down a marker, put in a marker, and then pick up ten stitches evenly along this side. So the way that you do a marker is just take a piece of contrast yarn and just lay it right here and um, just kind of tuck it back. Um, just keep it out of the way, don't crochet it in. It's just to give you an idea of where the beginning of your round is. So what you want to do to pick up those 10 stitches is you're looking for these um, holes in between the different um, rows that you just crocheted. and. So you crochet across the top here, and normally you would turn it at this point to keep working back and forth, but we're not doing that right now. So it was like this, and now you just turn it to work along that raw edge. All right, so we already have a stitch going into this first hole here. You can see the, the two strands that you just worked. So your next spot that you want to go in is this hole right here. So I'll just insert the hook, draw through, just do a regular single crochet. And you can see that your stitch marker is kind of held in place now. Okay, so that was one. You find the next hole. That's two. Three. Four. Five me. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you have picked up your ten stitches along that side. And now you can see you have those V's that we like to see because those are what we work into. And then you just keep turning the work. So now I believe you're supposed to do four into this bottom edge. And again, just finding whatever holes you think you can work into. So that was one, two, three, hmm, I think I'll go here, four. And now you see I've come up to that tail that we had when we started it. And if I was doing this for my own project, I would just crochet right over that. You can skip it, but, um, and just like kind of tuck it back and then continue working on this raw edge. But I'm just going to crochet it right into the piece. So now we're back onto the other raw edge and we want to do another 10. One, two, just finding the holes. Three, four, five, six, seven, oops, eight. I'm just trying to tuck that little piece back. Okay, I think that was nine, whatever. I'm not actually making these. It's just an example. Okay, so that was ten. And now we're back to the top. And I think the pattern said to do six here, but at this point you see we have our V's back and that's not so hard anymore. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we've worked all the way around our piece. You can see all the edges are kind of finished now and ready to be worked. You're back to your stitch marker. Um, you can tell where the stitch marker is because your next stitch you would go into the loop that the stitch marker is in. So at that point all you do is just yank it out, out, and then you lay it back in place like we did to begin with. Now that's the beginning of your round and I believe the pattern says you want to work for five rounds of single crochet working into the front loop. And um, the front loop is going to be the loop of the V that's facing you. So we have the the V's here from our first picked up stitch and you just go into that front loop and do a single crochet. Got our next V, just the front loop there, single crochet. And then you would just go around doing that for uh, three rows, five rows, I'm not sure, I didn't read the pattern that far. Um, and that'll give you that kind of ridged look on the edge of the booty that was in the picture. There, and you can see already that it's starting to curve up a little bit. And um, that's where we're at. You just move up your stitch marker whenever you come to it, and you should be good to go. Let me know if anything else comes up. Good luck.